Hello wrestling figure enthusiasts. This is a quick look at my NXT TakeOver War Games set that was recently released by WWE and Mattel. Um, you can get them on ringsidecollectibles.com. And also, um, I wanted to share a few little fix-ups and just some warnings for anyone who might purchase this set. First of all, I think it's really cool. I really love the two rings and the two cages. Recently, I've kind of gone back to the smaller uh, spring style rings because um, I have a couple of the authentic scale rings and they're just too big and it's just a lot to manage and it's very time consuming setting everything up. So this is my modest little NXT arena right here. Got the um, arena pop up from Extreme Sets. Always wanted one of those. Um, so yeah, this is what you get. Now there are a couple of things on my ring that um, I did add kind of to customize it and fix it up myself because there were a few things that I didn't like and this may be one of the first things you noticed. Um, so when you put your war game set together, you'll realize that you've got this gap right here between the two rings and um, which really isn't accurate compared to what you see on TV. But thankfully I have the um, the WWF Jacks Trash Talk and Stage set from like 98 or 99 and it comes with a cage wall piece that has two of these shorter pieces. And what I did was I pretty much just um, clipped this in, it clips right in to these um, extra pieces right here. It doesn't fit in there perfectly, but at least it um, gives you a more complete look. And I've got one on the other side there as well. Um, another thing I like to do with my rings is I like to um, make the mat a little softer for my figures. So um, the lighting doesn't really do it justice, but thankfully I have some others over here. Here is my raw spring ring, and you'll notice that I've got a layer of craft foam over the top of it. You can get it for like 99 cents at Hobby Lobby, and if you cut it to about 11 and a half inches on each side and trim up the corners a little bit so that way you can still spring the mat down. Um, I put it on there with some double-sided tape that you can get from Hobby Lobby as well, some scotch double-sided tape. And now you've got kind of like a play-proof mat to where your figures don't get scratched up because honestly, I don't like the texture of these, um, the texture of these mats. I did the same thing for my NXT ring as well, only this one is not a spring ring. Um, the mat doesn't go all the way down. Instead, it just kind of bounces a little bit right there. And this one is also one of the gimmicky ones that has the um, pullback ring posts. Um, another problem I had with this ring right here is... Um, the corner WWE stickers. I don't know if you can see them there behind Keith Lee, but um, those stickers are really a pain because um, they come off very easily. I'm glad that they made the turnbuckles flat as opposed to rings in the past. So as you can see, they're flat. So the stickers are able to be applied easier. However, um, some of them still pop off pretty easily, um, especially with this raw ring here. So my fix for that was some Mod Podge. I use this for figure customizing, but um, it dries clear, and if you put a little thin coat over your corner stickers, like I did for my NXT ring, and also for the ring posts um, decals that were coming off pretty easily as well, um, then you shouldn't have a problem with that anymore. So I did that with my NXT ring as well. Again, I've got the craft foam for both rings, only in black to match the NXT um, War Games set. Now, um, another issue I had with this ring was the ropes. So the ropes you see on this ring, or both of them right now, are not the ropes that came with the set. The ropes that you get are rubber ropes. I've already had to throw them away because after just two sessions of um, posing figures in this ring and just from, from some light play, the rubber ropes do break pretty easily. Um, so I went ahead and replaced them with some spare white ropes that I had from some authentic scale rings and I was able to cut them and I was able to um, tie them and hide the knots. There is a little piece, um, perhaps I can find it on this ring right here. When you put these rings together, you'll notice that you have these pieces right here um, that kind of hold the ropes in place. That's what you'll get with the War Games set, only the ropes are white rubber. It's really, really odd. Never seen anything like it. But if you take a flathead screwdriver and if you stick it there and you kind of twist it, you can kind of roll those um, plastic pieces out and that way you can remove the ropes completely and um, 
that way you're able to fit some new ones in there. You'll have a little bit more of a gap in the turnbuckle pad, but honestly, that's okay for some ropes that um, will last you longer. Um, yeah, when you put together the set, it, it wants you to put the door piece on this side right here towards the entranceway, but to make it more accurate, of course, you can set up the cage walls however you want. I kind of like to spread them out so that way um, I don't have two of the crash walls on the same side. Um, I really don't like the, um, I'm not a huge fan of these right here because they come out so easily, but you can still um, also bring a wall down like that, which is fine. And then you've got just some regular old cage walls, which honestly, I wish that's what it was the, on all sides minus the door. And then of course you're missing um, some pieces to cover up the gaps right here. Um, surprisingly, the whole thing moves together really well. You've got these um, two separate connector panels um, right here, like the diamond plate, and that helps kind of hold everything together. So when the thing is put together, yes, you can pick up the entire thing all at once. Um, I just would be really mindful of these tiny connector pieces right here. You have one on each side. They are very small, and they will probably get lost very easily, um, but that is how you connect the two sides together. Um, conversely, you can also you can always take these out um, or take those off, and then you can have um, just one single cage around one ring, which is fine. Um, so at least you have that option, and you've got the pieces for it. So, yeah, that is my NXT Takeover War Games um, Arena, and just some tips for um, customizing your rings if you want to make them safer for your figures, or if you just want to make them um, last the test of time. So um, I hope that this was insightful. Um, I think it's a great set if you're willing to take some time to um, make it a little better and a little more durable, then I think it's a fantastic set. So check it out.